right here is uh, Pete, Pete Pickernell's, and it's a big blueback set. Way over there and come come around to be. Hat off? I'd say hat off, <coughs> and uh, can I hold your cigarette? Yeah, I'll just get rid of it. Take it easy now, Adam. Take it easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take <laughs> Adams, you, you got to talk a little bit about the old days. Talk about the days of the 60s and... Uh, well, you know, let, let's talk... About the Quinault River? Yeah. We're, we're at the mouth of the river. And, uh, you know, this is a major swimming place for, for the kids in the summer and then used to swim across the mouth of the river. And then also there'd be dip netting right along the channel of the yeah. mouth. Oh yeah. Uh, because the the fish go to the uh, outside the main current. Yep. Yep. To go up the channel, and so it was real good dip netting, and you'd walk about 120 feet down with your dip net until yep. something hits. And. Uh, Full of them. But uh, the other, across the river is, you know, there's no population. It's Point Grenville. But uh, throughout my adolescence, I used to, I and other teenagers would walk all the way up to Raft River. Oh, wow. But sometimes we That's have to 20 go. 20 miles. We have to go over the top, up through the yeah. trees. And then we'd find these old trails. Uh, some of them were were probably uh, hundred year old wow. trails and, yeah. and then others would have been picked up. They'd be old Indian trails between the separate villages because all the Indians, you know, not just canoes, but used to go up the beaches on the, on the beach and yeah. then over the top uh, wh where the water hits up against a steep cliff. Yeah. Well, then they go over the top, but uh, uh, there'd be these old CCC trails yeah, yeah, where they'd lay yeah, logs yeah. down and they go until it hits the gully and then you'd, uh, you'd run out of trail and then you have to find either one of the CC uh, Civil Conservation Corps trails or, or one of the old Indian trails, which I'd say would be hundreds of years old. Oh, I mean, boy. you know, like when they found uh, the Oset digs mm -hmm. when the clay yeah. clay fell away from the hillside and right. they found the vi old village yeah. said that was 500 years old. Well, some of these trails must have been just as old. Wow. Yeah, uh, we got to make them understand we're not going anywhere. One day, one day, uh, I'm coming down the river to back to the landing and I run out of gas and the game wardens are right behind me. And uh, I hollered at Ad I hollered for Adam. I told him, "Get the guns, Adams!" You know, the game wardens are coming down, and I'm I'm floating now, paddling, paddling like mad toward the log jam, and Adams is comes running with his rifle. <laughs> and his <Your> rifle, <laughs> my rifle. <laughs> I told him, "Get the rifle, Adams!" The goddamn game wardens are coming after us. And I had a boatload of fish, and I pulled into the log jam. Adams comes. He fell down. Shot up in the air. All the game wardens across the river laid down on the ground. And them guys turned around on their boat and landed over on the army side of the river. And Adams, <laughs> I didn't see Adams even the way up there. And, but we saved our fish that day. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> there, there's also a true version, but uh, the one we can share and not differ on is the county sheriff showed up and bandaged up my hand. I, Don, Don Redmond showed up, the county sheriff, <laughs> and bandaged Adams' hand. He I, landed I, on a glass, a piece uh, of glass. On a Pepsi bottle. Pepsi oh. bottle. <laughs> What is, what is some of the things that, you know, them crazy times we had on the river and a lot of the, 
we, we laugh about a, a lot of things, you know, and then uh, there's a lot of sad things that happen on the river, you know. Well, you know, at, at the Evergreen College the other day, I, I, I told them that uh, I'd heard you uh, several years before I ever met you, and uh, where I heard you was over here on the Quinault baseball field. That's right. And <laughs> That's right. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Nisqually come down for some, one of our tournaments down here, and and I played with Guy and all them. And I, I'd, I'd hear this super uh, eager or super, um, I don't know, rambunctious fan. <laughs> 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 and for for Nisqually's, you were the the loudest. <laughs> and, 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 and the the most uh, uh, noticeable fan, <laughs> but down here in Tahola, uh, my brother-in-law's mother, Frida Charlie, was the one who could really get under the skins of the Nisqually players. <laughs> <'cause> she, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> she, she had a life of sobriety, but she knew every <laughs> she every. A phrase that a fan could know That's to, right. to out psych the other team. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got and we are working on the new chapters of the fish wars now and you're you're a big part of that. And uh, the tribes and Northwest Indian Fish Commission and, and uh, we're trying to redo that whole film and bring it up to date of where we are today now, you know. What what would you see us doing on that? Well the film, as long as rivers run, sort of ends with the filing of the bold decision. It doesn't go beyond there. So I, I think, you know, we would get more of the trials, more of the, the non-Indian reaction to the bold decision itself, the opposition uh, of state agencies and even federal agencies to implementation of the bold decision. And then something that would show that, you know, filed in 1970, uh, 38 years later, is still going. And uh, the most recent uh, phase decision just came at the end of, of 2007. Right, right. That's uh, phase two environmental part. Uh, fa part two, uh, part one of phase two, and then deal more with the two phases the, the original trial and uh, the development of the Fisheries Commission, uh, the coming together of the tribes on that, but also uh, e even going to uh, uh, the, the follow up against uh, the United States, like in the U.S. whole, uh, the whole river versus mm -hmm. Baldridge uh, crabs and a right. succession of right. commerce secretaries to deal with the ocean fisheries and then the international fisheries, the Canadian uh, treaties. Then we'd also have, uh, you know, like uh, where, where you went to the United Nations to yeah. help uh, <coughs> the, <coughs> convince uh, the third world nations to vote against these uh, 40 mile walls of death, uh, these uh, gigantic nets free floating in the Pacific Ocean. And uh, <coughs> so I, I think you cover a, a lot of uh, that, and and you would also show uh, the movement out uh, from the reservations, from the Indian lands, right. into the the shared waters, the co-management areas. Uh, you deal with the the environmental <coughs> degradations and the dead zones uh, uh, from Hood's Canal to the the ocean uh, dead zones. Right. And uh, and then you, you you deal also with some of the the reasons why uh, the, the the solutions uh, aren't forthcoming, uh, both on on the area of saving the Puget Sound, but just the waste of resources on the the Columbia River. Right. BPA Bonneville Power Administration yeah. uh, putting out uh, almost a billion dollars, or more than a billion dollars but uh, always refusing to do the most essential things to save yeah. the resource or the habitat. Right. And putting things off like uh, 
just uh, this this week, you, you get a, uh, an authority or permit to uh, possibly kill sea lions just below Bonneville Dam. And uh, the thing is, if you lose th th that Chinook resource, the spring Chinook or right, fall, right. fall Chinook, uh, that's harder to bring back yep. than, than the sea lions right. who uh, can sustain a, a small kill. But right. the, the, the salmon stocks being unique to uh, particular streams and, uh, and, and areas upriver from uh, Bonneville on the Columbia and the tributaries and up the Snake River and into yeah. Idaho, yeah. you can't bring them back yeah. if they're lost. But no. uh, the sea lions you can, can, can manage and, yeah. and uh, if you just allow them. And, and it's been you know a fight for more than a decade to uh, uh, whether or not you should, could uh, kill sea lions to stop that dep depredation against the, the salmon funneling through the lots. Well, uh, Adams, you know, today was a big day. We're down here at Quinault and the Quinault Nation. And, uh, you know, and the, gym, the, the new gym, and we got the see all of our people down here, you know, all of your, your relatives, your sisters and nieces, and, and uh, you know, it's just a great, great day for us to come together and talk about the old times, you know, the old fishing wars and, and what we're doing now, and, and uh, you know, we're going to continue to talk, we're going to continue to, to uh, keep trying to educate people because, you know, the fight is never over. The fight is still here and it'll continue on for our lifetime as well as all of our uh, children and our grandpas and grandmas and everyone. They gotta keep, uh, keep, uh, keep on point and keep going the direction we've all been going all these times. Well, yeah, I, no, I, I started fishing here when I was a teenager. I fished for Beatrice Black, I fished for Pete Pickernell here. The old, uh, the old yeah. Indians, and yeah. and part of the reason is, uh, you know, I had to fish for them because the Quinaults at that point were so scared that they, like, put uh, Nelly Capoman's husband off the river because he was Mexican Indian, oh, wow. and uh, so uh, Beatrice uh, brought me on the river, and then yeah. I fished out here. I dug clams, yeah. and uh, you know, I've seen. Uh, even the resources here from blueback, unique to this river, nowhere else the Quinault yep. blueback. Yep. Absolutely. And, and uh, they're threatened, not by what happens here on this river, but what happens out there on yep. the ocean. On that ocean. And so, you know, there's so much to do, and, and uh, you know, you, you, you can't stop. No. Nope. You know, just nope. to hold where we're at, but hopefully we can build more and bring back more. You know, we gotta keep, we gotta keep on the move. We gotta keep okay. doing what we do. Okay. <laughs> right on. <laughs>